Go. I am doing a summary on The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. The Fault in Our Stars is about Hazel Grace Lancaster meeting a boy named Augustus Waters. Hazel is described as having short, dark hair and green eyes. She says she has chipmunk cheeks from her treatment. She suffers from stage 4 thyroid cancer that had spread to her lungs, causing her to have to carry around an oxy oxygen tank. Augustus had osteosarcoma but is now cancer free after having his leg removed. Augustus and Hazel meet at a cancer support group. Augustus is there for his friend Isaac, who had a tumor in one eye, had to get his other one removed too. Augustus actually talks to Hazel as they are waiting to go. What's your name, Hazel? No, your full name, Hazel Grace Lancaster. When Hazel and Augustus become close, Hazel gets scared and refers to herself as a bomb, never knowing when she's going to explode. Augustus doesn't care and tells her no matter how hard she tries to push him away, he still finds her irresistible. Every cancer patient gets a wish and a wish foundation gives it to them. Hazel admitted to Augustus that she used her she used hers to see Disney World, but now she wants to meet the author of her favorite book, An Imperial Affliction by Peter Von Houten. As a surprise, Augustus uses his wish to take Hazel to Amsterdam to meet Peter Von Houten, who turns out to be a drunk with a bad attitude. When Augustus and Hazel get back from Amsterdam, he, he tells Hazel the bad news. He went to see the doctor because he was hurting again. As it says in the book, I lit up like a Christmas tree, Hazel Grace, also meaning he had had a reoccurrence of his cancer. Augustus started treatment and got more and more weak every day. Eventually, he didn't have the will to stand and got a wheelchair. Every time him or his parents called, Hazel answered with concern. Their relationship had grown very strong. One day, Hazel got a concerning call. Augustus was dead. He died in ICU when his heart stopped. This was eight days after his pre-funeral, where Hazel and Isaac read on their thoughts on Augustus and wrote what he was like for the time they knew him. Hazel was upset, but still went to see Isaac on a regular schedule. Isaac told Hazel that Augustus was writing something for her, that it was a secret. Hazel started to devote her life to find this thing Augustus wrote. When she didn't find it, she thought maybe it was on his computer. When she didn't find it there, she thought maybe he sent it to Peter, which in fact he did. When she read it for the first time, she was proud she had had Augustus in their little infinity. I would truly recommend this book, it's, and it's touching and sad, but good. It might make you cry, but you'll never want to put it down.